Okay, welcome everyone who has joined. So we've got people joining from all over. We've got uh, France, Spain, Belgium, Switzerland, UK, you name it. We have people from all over. Now, it's a pleasure to have you on the session. Um, we're going to be going through the discovery session. And this is a really popular um, way of kind of finding out a little bit more whether this is the best route for you. Now, some of you um, I know and um, are in groups and programs, some of you inquired already with the team, and some of you are brand new into the qualification side of things. Now, if you have never heard of the uh, Charter Institute of Marketing, just a quick heads up of who they are. They are the world's largest marketing institute. So the CIM Diploma in Professional Digital Marketing is a worldwide recognized qualification. And the amazing thing about it is not only is it designed for industry, but it's designed by industry professionals. Now, this is one of the first qualifications that you will see that is designed to get you to proficient digital marketer status for business. Now, the whole qualification is geared for people working um, in digital marketing. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to be in digital marketing right now. And we have loads and loads of students at the moment who um, unfortunately are on furlough. We've got people who've been made redundant. Um, we've got people who are working in digital, people who are looking to get into marketing, you name it. So it doesn't matter what stage or age you are um, in your career. And the, the, the amazing thing with this qualification is that you can get uh, to a point where you are proficient in all the skills in terms of mastering online marketing and social media in quite a fast period of time. Now, the reason for that is the way that we actually teach the qualification. And what you will find is that there are lots and lots of institutes, academies out there who are teaching the theory side. Now, one of the key differences that we really, really um, emphasize within our academy, and it, and it is part of our ethos, is that we practice what we teach. Now, for anybody who is looking to do a CIM qualification, one of the, the best things I can tell you about it is that, as I say, it's geared for industry. So when you are learning, you're not just going to be learning, you know, know SEO you're not just going to be learning you know social media you'll be looking at yes the theory it's the absolute paramount it's the foundation of it but more importantly this is about business and in terms of real world business and we'll be looking at the ways that you can implement online marketing strategies in your businesses in your roles now, as I said, you don't have to be in a role to be doing a qualification. We've got lots of students who are either looking to get into the sector, they're doing career changes, you name it. And one of the things that I really want to focus on in this session is front loading to you, not just what the qualification is, but the most important thing is, is where will it take you? What, what is the outcome? Because at the end of the day, doing a qualification is one thing, but learning the education that you will get from this, you know, you're future proofing your digital skills. Now, yes, it's absolutely going to get you to the forefront within um, uh, your career. Now, a lot of people are saying, you know, is it a good addition to a CV? You know, how will it position me? Well, the qualification will position you in two ways. Number one, if you look at any of the digital marketing roles currently online, so if you do a search, for anything online at the moment, you will find that at least 90% of roles are looking for someone who has got CIM qualification. Now, that absolutely is gonna give you a huge advantage against your peers who are applying for roles. One of the best pieces of news that I can tell you is that there are hundreds of roles in digital marketing that are going on filled each and every month. Just last month in Ireland, 600 roles went unfilled in the world of digital marketing. Now, what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that there's a huge digital marketing skills gap. Now, that's an amazing opportunity for anyone who's studying a qualification because as soon as you get a qualification or as soon as you start studying, it's something that can go on your CV. Now, there'll be an array of marketers within today's session, people who are seasoned professionals, people who are self-taught, people who've done CM qualifications in the past, people who've done degrees, and people who have not gone down those channels. But as I said, this qualification is quite different because when we look at eligibility for a course, it's not like sort of doing, you know, becoming a doctor, a lawyer, or something like that, whereby, you know, to get onto a particular degree, we'd have to have done some sort of foundation experience, okay? With the world of digital marketing, because we've all been exposed to digital marketing, and many of us have grown up with this, uh, for me, who is the age of 40, it's something that I've been involved in for the past 20 years. We all have an understanding of 
digital marketing in our daily lives. So when we look at is somebody suitable for doing a qualification, my answer to it is yes, majority of people it will suit. Now, um, there's different levels of qualifications you'll see out there, and some of you be uh, you know, very familiar with Ofqual and the scales, but to give you an idea, this is a level six. Now, what level six means is that it's equivalent to an undergraduate degree. And what I love about it is that you will graduate with full honorifics. You will go to a graduation ceremony in Westminster. They're still doing them during this period of time, but just in small groups. Um, and you will wear your cap and gown to get awarded your certificate, just like any other qualification. Because the worry is out there is that there's so many diplomas touted. You know, I literally, I, I saw something on Groupon the other day. It's saddening to me that people are trying to tout qualification and get people to invest in something that is not regulated. I can assure you, the CIM are the world's largest marketing institute. So the qualification um, and the, the content of that syllabus is geared for business today. The other thing is, is it's off call regulated. So it means that it's a professional academic qualification, you know, and, and that's really important when you're investing in something. You don't want to put your time and effort and complete assignments to think that, you know, you've got something that's called a diploma, but it's not. So rest assured that this is a formal qualification and in terms of eligibility, we have built in uh, an automatic foundation level. Now, this is really important because so many people come to our academy. We've trained about 28,000 students uh, and we started the academy back in 2005. And they are self-taught, like many, you know, many people are because you're learning, you're exposed to digital marketing day in, day out. But what it means is, is that not always is the best practice being used. And some of the techniques, because digital marketing is ever evolving, sometimes there's a better way to do it. And, and sometimes best practice will need to be tweaked slightly to make sure that you're in line with it. So things like SEO, um, you're looking at obviously attracting people into your database and making sure that you're um, aligned to GDPR are in the current legislation. These are all things that are taught. And the way that the syllabus is put together, it's not just the how to do it, it's very much the devil in the detail because we are all CIM tutors as much as we are practitioners. So we are part academy, part agency. Why is that important for our students? Well, I think it's crucial because um, we are doing digital marketing day in, day out. So if there's a digital tool for something, we'll know exactly what the best tool is at that time. And we'll advise students of you know, anything that's changing, trends, tips, insights, because we as a business are kind of our own case study. And um, as much as obviously you know, we are a case study, so are our clients. So I think one of the huge advantages that we can give students is that we're teaching real world business uh, marketing and, and we're all about getting results. So when we use um, uh, our teaching um, and the interactive syllabus, we use a huge amount of real life experience in terms of case studies. From a point of learning, because we've all done the diploma, we felt that it was paramount that people don't just learn, you know, frameworks and, you know, all the tech side of things, but they actually understand it from a conceptual point of view of like, well, what's happening today? You know, how would I use this in my role? What would I do, you know, day to day? And there'll be people who are doing campaigns at the moment that, you know, it's not about starting a course now and then graduating and implementing what you learn. From the minute you start, I can promise you with this sort of qualification, you'll be learning in each video lecture. Um, there'll be practical applications that you can go and uh, delve into, you know, so you can look at digital tools. Um, so when we're teaching things like SEO, I think it's fundamental that students understand it in real life. So you can go off and search Google. For instance, if you went and searched for the CIM diploma in digital marketing, guess who comes up? Number one. We do because we practice what we teach. And um, I think to be good um, uh, as a trainer, you have to have hands on experience. And I think the only way that we could be comfortable that we were getting students to a proficient level of digital marketing is teaching them, obviously, day to day what we're doing and how we're doing it. Because it's about getting the best return on investment. You know, if you look at um, digital marketing and marketing as a whole, the reason we're doing it is to get 
more customers um, from getting more leads and building that funnel so that we can become as profitable as we can. So regardless whether you are a freelancer, um, if you're working as, uh, you know, in a marketing role or you, you're just getting into the industry, it doesn't matter because you don't need to be in a current role because we will give you all of the tools um, and there's no charge for these tools. We give you everything for free. We are a great lover of free, um, but you can go and try them out because learning is great. But when you really, really get the, the understanding of what you're learning is when you're implementing. So the more interactive the experience, the better, because, you know, you imagine that you're trying to learn SEO. You can't do that, you know, in terms of just watching a load of slides. You know, our learning material is very much to camera, talking to you about what we've done, the insights we're seeing, how we did it step by step what tools we used, we get you using the tools, we get you doing the searches, so that you're immersed in the experience and, and, and seeing is believing, you know, and there's nothing stronger than when you're actually doing it, because you will, when you're learning, you'll understand and retain a, a percentage of what you hear, and you'll understand and retain a percentage of what you see, but the magic happens, as I say, is when you're actually doing it. And, and this brings me on to how you're actually assessed. I think one of the biggest worries, especially for people who are busy uh, in, in, in a role, is, oh my goodness, you know, I'm going to have to go and do an exam. Um, there is no exams. And what has been the biggest game changer with this qualification is that the CIM invited uh, tutors and industry professionals to come and talk to them about what a digital marketer's role was, you know, what people were doing day to day. And the, and the whole syllabus has been constructed around that. The assignments too. So what you'll actually being, you know, get assessed on and, and how you'll actually graduate is, yes, you'll do a syllabus. Yes, you'll do all the learning. Yes, you'll do all the tools, but you'll create an assignment. And the assignments are all real world business, you know, so it could be that you're doing a social media strategy um, and then you get different scenarios that you can choose uh, for each of the assignments. And the great thing is there's no dissertation, there's no lengthy essays. These are documents that if you're already working commercially, you'll have had some interaction with already, if not doing. Um, it could be doing a digital marketing plan. You could be doing, uh, you know, a briefing document about, you know, suggesting ways to improve the website. You could be doing ways to improve leads, talking about doing a, a, an online community. So the scenarios that you can align um, to either what you, you know, you're most interested in or what aligns to your business. Now, if you're, imagine you're working in a role at the moment, you can use what you're doing in your assignment day to day. You can actually use it as your digital marketing plan. If you're not in a role, you use your assignments for your portfolio. You know, when you go to an interview to show people and demonstrate your experience, because it's a tough nut to, track, uh, to crack to get into digital. And I'll be honest there, if you don't have experience, getting into an agency, getting into a role will be difficult because a business owner, and especially in these times, um, or a manager will be looking for someone who can get up to speed quite quickly, who knows the strategies. And you'll often find in business today that your top line management are not experienced in online marketing or digital. So they'll be relying on you quite heavily. And this is why it's important to be proficient in not just social media, not just SEO, but things like content. And with the diploma, you basically get the, the whole wheel, you know, that all eight powerful ways to market your business online. And that takes you through everything from auditing, planning, um, right the way through to creating content, posting social media, um, how to utilize social media to turn connections into paying clients, because that's one of the, the things that it, 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 we see in business today. 70% of businesses are using social media but not effectively. They're not actually recognizing any revenue from it. So when we talk about strategies and tactics, these are things that you can implement day to day. You know, there'll be some quick wins, there'll be some medium um, term wins and some longer term. And, and that aligns perfectly to today's business world. Now, my background, some of you I know, some of you are in programs already, some of you are in my, my social networks, and some of you are brand new to me. Now, to give you an idea of where I came from, um, I started the academy back in 2005, but in 2000, we started the marketing agency. And where it came from was um, we actually built one of the first um, social media networks. Now, by all means, it was not a LinkedIn, it was not a Facebook. Um, it was a lot more basic than that. 
but we had um, 50,000 people for a, a large Northwest uh, business exhibition who joined our social network, our community that we've been asked to build. And from that, um, our agency, we started doing networking events and funny enough, my background is actually programming. Now, um, I am technical, um, I study psychology and business um, because I just kind of, I guess in my career, I was trying to find my feet of where I wanted to be. Started my business at 21, um, and then obviously the academy has grown now to the, to the point where we've got 28,000 students that we've trained and certified. Now, along that journey, um, we became a CIM accredited study centre. And I truly believe that that's one of the most uh, important things that I did. Um, because when we started, there have been lots of people who did social media courses, and they were touting them, you know, teaching you how to use social media. But this was pupils own learning, you know, that there was no accreditation. And, and I felt with this unregulated industry that it was important to be regulated and be accredited so that people were learning the tactics that weren't going to get them disqualified from Google or, you know, get them a fine for data protection um, issues. So we became accredited in 2005 and launched uh, the, the digital marketing diploma. Now that diploma has evolved, as you would expect, into one of the most probably magnificent qualifications out there. Because when you graduate with a qualification, um, I think a fundamental thing to understand is, is where it puts you, where it positions you in the market. You will be in the top 1% because this qualification is fairly new. Um, it's been live for just under two years. Um, it's been fully rewritten um, from when the first qualification came out. And I think it's probably got to the stage now where it is so encompassed and so aligned to where we are in business and, and consumer behavior. It puts you in the top 1%. And the reason it puts you in the top 1% is that there's a lot of people who are self-taught out there. Um, we have probably our students a range from anything from um, early 20s um, and we currently have someone, well our oldest student ever was 83. Um, we currently have I think 66 at the moment but there is no age or stage for this because digital marketing is something that you can never have taken away and it's one of the most in-demand uh, qualifications and skills that you can have in business today. Now, as I've um, sort of grown as a consultant, my sort of main role is a speaker, author, and a trainer. And um, I'm hands-on every day. I'm the head tutor for the qualification. We have a team um, that supports us um, and all of our students. Now, each of the students who joins us, I think the worry is, is that when you're studying online, that you're going to be kind of left. And um, when we all did the qualification ourselves, we tried to kind of understand it from a student's point of view, like what would really support us. Now, we got a 99% and have had all the way through 99% pass rate. And I, I honestly believe that the main reason for that is that, yes, we're business orientated. Yes, we're all CIM tutors. Yes, we're all CIM examiners. So when we um, look at your work, we're giving you feedback as close as you'll get when you're actually physically assessed. But it's the one to one aspect and we are the only study center um, who does this, we have a study buddy group or multiple study buddy groups whereby you can interact with tutors and you can also most importantly interact with other students so that you can buddy up. Um, and we do lives every fortnight with students so that it's as close as we can get to kind of classroom experience and that you get to 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 know students and understand where they're at. We have multiple tutors who will support you. And we have Mandy, who is our resident mindset coach. And you might be thinking, why have you got a mindset coach on a qualification? The reason for it is that um, learning is one thing uh, and understanding digital is another. You know, the, the elements to be successful uh, as a proficient digital marketer are marketing, motivation, and mindset. Now, where I can come in and, and really support you is in all three, but where Mandy really specializes in is the motivation and mindset making sure that you're invigorated and doing your studies, making sure that you're going through our eight step study plan, making sure that if you've got a problem, I mean, you know, it, it, we've had the most difficult year for businesses with COVID, that sometimes you just need someone to talk to, someone just to get you back on track. And Mandy is there to do that. So we felt that that is a, there's a huge asset for um, our students um, because it's one thing me telling you how to do assignment and, you know, a tutor giving you feedback. 
sometimes you might just be having a lack of confidence. Sometimes you might be just thinking, I just can't get myself into this. I, you know, I just need a little bit of a kick about a kick up at the backside just to kind of get going, you know, and, and that's what Mandy's there for. She's there as a support in addition to the learning. So we have a really solid team. We have 24 um, seven um, availability within the group and we have the student support team as well who are on hand if you, know, you get locked out of your course or whatever. But we are teaching digital marketing um, to students who are in all sorts of walks of life, different countries, different niches, etc. cetera. Um, one of the things you'll also get is a copy of my book. So um, if any of you have uh, seen this before, um, Dynamic Digital Marketing came out in 2019. I got my publishing contract uh, earlier that year from Wiley. Um, and it covers the um, model that uh, basically we created within the academy. Now, all of the students who are studying the CIM diploma, we wanted to give um, a fast track course as a bonus. So you get a thousand pounds worth of bonuses at the moment. You get free CIM membership. So that opens up um, a, a huge host of options within CIM and um, they do online events and webinars and student support, etc. You have to be a member and we pay for that for you. Um, the fast track course um, currently um, you'd have to buy from us at um, £600 for the instant access or if you're attending it'd be £1,500. We include that for free. Now, within the book, the dynamic digital marketing model covers everything in the fast track course. Now you get a copy of this sent to your door. You get your free CIM membership and also you get the fast track course. So the fast track is great for when you really want to understand a discipline because the syllabus with CIM um, takes you to kind of a level where you would be strategic and, and partially practitioner. But to be truly proficient in digital, I really feel that you need to know the ins and outs, like the demo of how to set up Facebook ads, the, the demo of how to do Google Analytics. So if you're seeing somebody, because it's fine me telling you something or giving you a digital marketing tool, but you need to know the in-between bit and the fast track does that. So you can dip in and dip out of that as you need. And within the, the reading, you can use uh, obviously the book. Um, and also we give you the reading list and all the course materials for free. So there's no additional charges within it. Now, there's a couple of questions that have just come in. So I want to go through them. And now is your time, obviously, to, to feel free to ask the questions. Now, if you're thinking about doing um, a course of qualification and you've got a question um, just about kind of, you know, your own situation, how the course runs, whatever it is, pop it in the chat, let me know, uh, and we'll go through it. So one of the questions that came through was how long does it take? Great question, really good question. Um, you can graduate in as little as 12 weeks. Um, and in terms of pay scale, if you look online on our website on the diploma page, you will be able to look at Salary Tracker, which gives you real life, real time um, analysis and understanding of what wages are. Now, getting a qualification and good experience, you know, in working in digital marketing is a, is a 50 to 100,000 uh, pounds job. If you look at any digital marketing manager at the moment, it will give you the average. So, you know, the base learning, sorry, base earning that you'd be looking at uh, at the moment, I think the base level is about 30 to 35, depending on where you are regionally. Um, and then obviously, you know, if you're more, you've got more experience, one thing I can say is that 83% of students, um, when they graduate from our academy, they either get a pay rise, a promotion or a new job. So it definitely is, is, is a huge addition, you know, if you're looking for a job, but also, you know, many people come to me who've been working strategically. So they've been briefing agencies, they've been talking to, um, you know, third parties who are outsourcing or maybe managing a team. Um, and then it's come to a point where they have to get more hands on or understand it from a more practitioner level. So there is no right or wrong stage to start this. It's just a case of how long it will take you. Now, 12 weeks would be someone who had some form of experience commercially and also in digital. Because to go through the syllabus, it's instant access. So it's, you know, you could study at two o'clock in the morning. So as soon as you join, you get a link to access all your course material. They're all bite-sized lectures. 
And um, you have obviously a, a syllabus scope so that you can go through that and kind of tick off like, you know, I'm comfortable with this bit. And as you're going through the video lectures, you'll be doing reading. So let's say you were learning a bit about SEO or something. You might go and read a lot better in dynamic digital marketing or the other books that we provide. Um, and you do that in tandem. You don't sit down and read books, you know, um, cover to cover. You will read about a topic as you go. And then as you go through each section, there'll be practical activities and tools that you can test out to deepen that learning. But truly when you'll get the, the, the epiphany moment and the, the, the best understanding is when you're creating that assignment because you're doing and you're actually going through a scenario and plotting out what you would do. Um, a question that's come in here and said, um, I don't currently have um, a, a role. I've been made redundant, want to do this uh, while I'm on gardening leave. Well, yeah, no problem. I mean, what happens is, is when you do the assignment, you pick a business and the business just needs to have a, an online entity like a website. So as soon as you um, obviously um, start that assignment, you pick a business, any business that you want, and then you will go through and choose a scenario that suits you. And when you're creating this, it's you don't have to actually carry it out for that business. You're always talking in future tense uh, and hypothetically of what you would do. So you're creating kind of like the digital nirvana, the if I was doing this, I would do X, Y and Z. And the examiner's not going to be looking at the business or, or anything like that that you are covering. They'll purely be looking at your work that you're producing. And what happens is, is once you've done the assignment, which brings me on to the next question, how do we get feedback? When you do the assignment, you'll create a draft. Um, but before you even start that, you'll do a Q&A one-to-one -one with your tutor. That's massively important because what happens is, is you read the assignment, you might hit a little bit of overwhelm, or there might be bits you, you're not quite sure about. We produce a video that we talk through the assignment brief of what you would need to do, how you would do it, and, and so on and so on. Then the CIM examiner also gives you a video. And once you've watched those two videos, you're kind of at a point then where you're thinking, right, OK, great. Um, I can start my assignment. You do a Q&A one to one uh, with your tutor. Just talk through the business you're using, um, check you've understood the assignment correctly, go through any questions and then you're ready to go. And then you use the support group and the live Q&As to ask any questions in between. Once the draft is completed, then you will go on to do another one-to-one -one where you'll get direct feedback from your tutor. And they'll be looking at identifying areas that you can improve your marks, um, telling you, you know, if you're on the right tracks, picking up anything that might be a problem. And, and this, is, this is a huge attribute for the fact that we've got a 99% pass rate with an average grade of a B. Um, we get a lot of distinctions through the diploma because it's all very well passing the diploma, but we want you to get the best grade and we want you to learn as much as you can along that journey. So one of the questions that came in here was, is that what other support do you get? The thousand pounds worth of bonuses that I mentioned, you get your CIM membership and you get the fast track, but you also get um, access to the consort club. And this is basically your marketing mentorship for the year. So aside from doing the, the qualification, if you're looking to get into marketing, you need career advice or you need advice about your marketing campaigns, whatever you're doing, that um, consult club, basically we do a live every Thursday where we have guest experts, we do masterclasses, we do live Q&As, we do a kickstart and accountability session. Um, so there's lots that's available and you can choose how much or how little that you want. Um, let me just check what questions we had in. Uh, another one here in terms of currently work as a senior copywriter. I have worked both in agency as well on, as on client side. I look at my role as a brand storyteller and would want to stick close to it. What sort of roles can I progress? Um, I mean, in the world of digital marketing, what I love is that um, there's a huge amount of um, roles in content. If you go on to The Guardian or any of the job sites at the moment, and you look at um, content marketing roles um, that heavily businesses and brands are using Storyteller um, as, a, as an actual role. Um, we see it a lot in job descriptions now, and it's definitely changed a lot in the past couple of years, which is great news. Um, the diversity is, is huge. I mean, if you want to be um, a, a brand storyteller, you know, working in agencies is a, is a great uh, opportunity. But 
anything in the world of content marketing, um, huge content marketing roles out there um, in terms of obviously showcasing the content and the, and the story, the, the mission and the vision of a brand. So, you know, and you can even go freelance. I mean, there's lots of people that um, will do the qualification because they're starting up their own business. Now, the business doesn't necessarily have to be in the world of being an agency. It could be any business. And you'll use the diploma as you set that up. You know, um, we've had students who set up the website right the way through to getting clients on board, you know, throughout studying. So I think it's important to kind of um, have a look at the, the different opportunities out there. Go and do a quick search in Google and kind of get an understanding of like, where do you want to be? Um, and, and what it is that you're, you're looking to achieve. You know, if you're working in digital marketing at the moment, then great. Um, if you're looking to get into it, then, you know, not a problem. So for me, the most important thing is, is making sure that you have an understanding of what the qualification will bring and the results. Now, for me, in summary, I would say that you're gonna come out uh, as a proficient digital marketer, able to absolutely uh, work on any aspect or any role in the world of digital marketing. Um, of course, it's gonna have um, uh, you know, experience um, you know, behind it. You know, the more experience you are, obviously the more opportunities you're, you're gonna get. But it's a great entry point, you know, and, and it's a great standing be able to sort of showcase your assignments as your portfolio. There's nothing better than actually being able to present that at an interview. Um, in terms of any additional cost, yes, there is an additional cost. Um, and that's just purely to get your work marked. It's the CIM assessment. Um, so once you um, pay um, your course uh, tuition fees to us, which incidentally, um, a, a question here is what is the price? Um, it's 1249 plus VAT um, and that can be paid either up front or you can spread it out over 12 months and if you spread it out over 12 months it's 99 pounds a month so it's super affordable um, and one of the things that we want to make sure is that, that this course was accessible to everybody uh, so there's no interest um, on there you know we don't put admin charges or anything on it and there's no credit checks you can sign up straight away um, and you literally um, can get you know going in a matter of minutes. The other option is to pay over six months, which is 199 plus VAT. Um, just be aware that when you do the monthly option, you pay a sign up fee at the beginning. It still works out as the same amount. It's just the way that we spread it out. Um, because we have obviously to set your account up in that in the beginning. So on the first month, for instance, if you were doing monthly, you'd pay £99, which is your first installment, if you're doing it over 12 months, plus the £99 sign-up fee. And then it'd just be 11 months thereafter. Um, I use my network marketing for the course as a case study. Yes, you absolutely, you can use that, Dominic. So basically, any um, business that you have um, or, um, you know, any role that you're in, you can use that. Um, there, there is there is nothing saying, um, you know, from us who you can use. We've had students who've used other businesses that are not theirs, but the friends or family, their own businesses, you name it. Um, another question here, are you still conducting face-to-face? -face? Yes, we are conducting face-to-face -face classes. Um, we did, we managed to do last year, we did March, we skipped June and we did October. Um, we are hoping to do March, but we're in discussions at the moment, just to kind of see really where we're at. Um, June for sure will be happening and October for sure will be happening. Um, and we've also got the opportunity to do online fast track as well. Now, you guys get the online fast track as part of the qualification anyway. Um, so you'll get all of that detail. Um, someone said worried about um, obviously doing online um, but there seems a lot of support there is um, I think the thing is is obviously there'll be other people in the group in the study buddy group who are exactly the same uh, position so by finding yourself a study buddy it's really helpful because you're both kind of going through the same thing but tutors are there to help you and again Mandy's there to to keep you focused and if for any reason that we noticed your progress was kind of slipping, we would let you know. Um, I think one thing to, to bear in mind is that when you're studying something um, like the, the, you know, the, the qualification, um, yes, you'll have to have a, an element of self-discipline, but if we notice your progress have gone, uh, gone off, you know, gone awry, we'll be in touch, you know, we'll, we'll be there to support you and get you back on track. Um, one of the things I just want to um, share my screen and show is um, we have obviously the um, online community uh, and we have the course and 
Um, I'm just going to show you here. Hopefully you can see my screen. This is um, basically what the online community looks like. Um, this is basically the navigation down the left hand side. You'll see that there's a progress bar at the top um, and you'll get an email every week just kind of telling you where you're at and just kind of making sure you know you're at 14 percent you need to do x y and z you get an eight point study plan um, and that's really helpful for you to see end to end where you are in the course um, and you can kind of go through and just sort of start plotting out looking at the deadlines for assignments thinking when you want to kind of submit and what you need to be doing in between and we can help you with that so all of the course material, there's a lot of um, camera, face-to-face um, -face camera um, lectures, just to try and make it feel as, as immersive as possible. Um, and obviously you have the, the study buddy group as well. Someone said, how do I sign up? I'm, I'm liking that um, <laughs> focus. Um, you literally just go onto the website and you'll see um, on under courses that there's the CIM diploma in um, professional digital marketing. When you click on buying options and you go down to the bottom, you'll see here that you've got different buying options. You can do up from, um, you can do six months or 12 months. Um, you can even do one module if you wanted, um, or you can choose to do the three day in London or Manchester. Now, um, questions just come in is what is a VIP? Really good question. Um, so as I scroll up here, I will show you exactly what VIP is. Here we go. So with the VIP, basically we wanted to build in an option so that if somebody wanted to do like a one-to-one -one, uh, with myself, um, just talking about, obviously uh, it could be anything to do with the diploma, their own marketing, but this is a, a, a Zoom one-to-one. -one, um, and yeah, uh, you know, the VIP option is there to give you kind of the gift pack. It's a gift pack with wall planners, um, uh, notebooks, all sorts of different things. Um, I'll give you a copy and a little show here. You get uh, our weekly success planner. Um, you get notebooks. You get different um, uh, templates and tools and things that are sent to you as a gift pack. Um, you'll also, everyone will get a copy of the book sent regardless whether they're VIP or not. Um, and then you get um, additional access to slides and bonus course material, as well as some done for you content, like 100 social media templates. Um, and you get our key dates planner, which is um, super great for um, doing content. Um, it gives you key dates and awareness dates all the way through 2021 that you can use to kind of gear content, align it with. Um, so yeah, there's there's lots of different um, options that you can go for. So, you know, it depends what your motivation is. Um, before we close off, I wanna make sure that we answer everybody's uh, questions. Um, I promised that I would talk a little bit about what the trends and insights are um, for the world of digital marketing and where I see this going for 2021. Well, um, just looking today live, um, there is a huge amount of jobs um, that are unfilled. Um, so there's definitely um, uh, the, the potential and opportunity to work in digital, even in the world of COVID. What has been um, really interesting to see is that over the past year with COVID, um, the, the actual increase of online marketing has been huge and the take up of social media, again, has been massive. We've seen the use of LinkedIn increase probably 25% because businesses are seeing that, you know, obviously if we can't meet in person, what's the next best thing? You know, online marketing, doing webinars, doing social media and, and, and utilizing social media as a key generation tool. Um, again, we've seen um, uh, social media advertising, um, huge, huge um, increase there. Uh, Facebook ads have never been cheaper. Um, and then in the world of um, SEO, so Google, um, there's a huge amount of use on Google day to day. Google reaches 90% of the internet's audience. So it's definitely the place to be. Um, as I say, we as an academy are position one, page one on Google for this course. Um, so, you know, when we talk about what we, you know, practice what we teach, we really are doing that day to day. We have 5 million subscribers on email. Um, I have a podcast, Dawn of a New Era. Um, when it launched, it hit number 17 in the entrepreneurship charts. Um, number one on LinkedIn um, for digital marketing. Um, so I'm recognized globally um, in, that, in that world. LinkedIn is a huge network for us. So, you know, we're generating um, a vast amount of leads uh, and it, it probably accounts for about 80% of our leads that we get for the agency and for speaking, et cetera, and uh, private work. Um, 
you know, in terms of figures that that's easily, um, you know, accountable for millions of pounds of sales that we have um, accrued through that one channel. Um, in terms of obviously the book, um, someone said, when did the book come out? The book came out in uh, December 2019. So gosh, yeah, you know, we've done a year already. Um, it's, it's available on Amazon worldwide. So um, it, it, it's, it was a super proud moment for me to, to get a publishing contract, um, but also uh, with Wiley, um, who were my preferred uh, route um, and, and preferred publisher. Um, yeah, so, you know, think about what you want to get from a qualification. The, the people who it wouldn't be suitable for is that, uh, if you want to do something in a week, it's not going to be feasible. This is something that is going to challenge you, but you know, you're going to get rewarded for that challenge because you know you're going to come out with a qualification. No one can ever take that away. It, it's recognized worldwide. You're going to get your graduation ceremony, your certificate. And as I say, the honorifics and letters after your name, you know, that is something that will stand out on a CV. Um, and it is a massive uh, achievement. You know, it, it, you're getting an undergraduate degree equivalent here. And um, I think in the world of digital, it, it's something that um, will, will set you apart from a lot of your peers. Dominic's asked, um, after the course, do you guys help with finding a job? And uh, well, the, 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 the consort club, um, our marketing mentorship, we do a lot of career advice. Um, and we talk about, you know, how to find a job, best ways of presenting yourself, looking at, you know, getting your LinkedIn uh, profile up to speed. We do master classes on all of the social networks. So for sure, we'll be there. Um, Within the community in itself, within the alumni, um, we will post any jobs that the CIM um, job board post as well. So you'll have access to that. Um, the, the great thing is, is that so many businesses will go to the CIM because they know that they've got a huge host of students from study centres like ourselves. Um, and they'll be looking for people who have graduated with a qualification. So when a job comes through, we will post it and we will keep you in the loop um, of you know, what's available. Um, so there's huge opportunity there, definitely, you know, and you, we're not going to leave you in the lurch. At the end of the day, when you do graduate, that's one thing, um, but you'll be part of, obviously, the consort club along the way. So as you're doing a your qualification, you can use the consort club to get yourself job ready and make sure that you're ready to kind of hit the ground running. And, and as soon as you start studying, you can put on your CV that you're studying the qualification. So if you're in job hunting mode now, um, you know, that's something, uh, again, that's going to stand out. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I've got a couple of questions to answer. So please, 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 if you've got questions and you've not asked them already, pop them in the chat and I promise I will go through all of them before we finish. Is it possible to do further studies? Um, yes, that you, you can do further studies. I would say that the most popular route for students, um, for us, is as soon as you graduate with a level six, um, what happens is, is we sign you up in that first year as a CIM member. And when you start your uh, journey with CIM, you are what's called an affiliate studying member. Now, as soon as you graduate and you've done your qualification, you apply for an upgrade of membership. So, for instance, you'll notice um, that after my name, I have Dawn Grewer, FCIM. That means that I'm a fellow of the CIM. So, um, one of the highest accolades you can have, um, obviously, in the world of marketing, because it's an invite only. You can become a fellow after time served and experience. Um, what you'll do is you'll work your way from associate up to fellow and chartered marketer status, because um, each year um, to become a member and stay a member, you have to do continuous professional development. As you would imagine with anything, um, you know, being in digital marketing, learning something now, you need to keep your finger on the pulse. So continuous professional development means that if you were to go and read my book or do other you know courses anything in the consult club with us or any master classes they all count towards your continuous professional development and all you do is you log them in a, a hub on cim and every year they look through and go right okay how much have you done oh great you can go to the next membership level until eventually you hit chartered marketer status that tends to be the most popular i'll be honest over doing a level seven because the level six is so um, you know, immersive in terms of what you're doing, that a lot of people don't feel that they need to go to that next level. What you might find is that you might do a level seven in, in marketing leadership or something, your marketing management, maybe. Um, 
but a lot of people will just strive for chartered marketer status. So there is not a need to do something after, you know, absolutely, if you want to do a postgrad, you can, um, but it depends what your motivations are. A level six, I honestly think would take you to a point where, you know, you, you would feel fine. I would say 20% of the people who graduate from us will maybe do a postgraduate. 80% will probably do uh, just continue through to get that chartered marketer status to kind of keep uh, current uh, and, you know, digital marketing is ever evolving. So it's important for them to kind of make sure that they know what's happening within their role. So um, if there's no other questions, um, I will sign off today. But everybody um, who has attended, if you're watching this on the live stream, comment below with any questions if you're watching this on replay. Um, and I will put a link in for the PDF, um, which is basically just covering everything I talked about today. And you can go and have a, a, a deep dive, have a look at the course and, and feel free to answer, ask me any questions. Um, I'd love you all to connect with me on LinkedIn. If you go and find me, Dawn McGrewer, um, go and find me on LinkedIn, connect and follow with me. Um, and feel free to send me a message. You know, if you've got a specific query about the course, by all means, please let me know. Now, if you guys um, would like to join um, and if anybody is interested in obviously finding out more about, you know, how to sign up, um, I'll send a link out and we'll email everybody who's attended and we'll put a link also in the live stream and then you can go and check out the course. There's, there's more materials on there and things that you can go and assess and see whether it's right for you. And again, at any time, feel free to get in touch with our team. It's 0800 334 5784, or you can send a message to info at digital and social media academy.com. So, thanks for um, taking the time out um, for the discovery session. Hope it was enjoyable. Um, and yeah, I would love to see you on the other side. So, if you need anything, we are here to help. Um, and yeah, and you can sign up straight away. Um, as soon as you uh, obviously enroll, you get your login details to access the course. So take care and stay safe, everyone, and have a lovely week. Bye now.